back here at Legion Field as there's a play that was completed, but two flags probably negating it. Martin's looking deep down the field for Fitzsimmons, an incompletion. A flag at the line of scrimmage and a flag in the defensive backfield. The receiver came open right at the end. Pass just didn't quite get to him. The teams, after that quarter switch ends, Fort Morgan now moving towards the north, right to left. The officials taking their time discussing the multitude of flags. A lot of laundry out there on the field. As a coach, you never like to see the laundry on the field, but for a first ball game, both of these teams have played relatively penalty free. Oh, two, two penalties against Fort Morgan. An illegal motion and then a pass interference. The illegal motion will be declined. The pass interference will be accepted. And that results in a loss of down as well? I think so. That'll bring up fourth. Unaware. I was unaware of that loss of down rule on an offensive pass interference. And 15 yards. Ouch. That is a costly, costly penalty. Well, they'll move the ball back to the 15-yard line of Fort Morgan territory. Zwetzig out to punt the ball away. We'll see if the snap will be a little bit better this time. It is. Zwetzig with plenty of time. Oh, and he almost gets the punt block, but he gets off a of beauty. Garcia back to catch it for Brush, and he lets it go through his arms. He'll get it at the 32, where he is corralled by two Fort Morgan tacklers. A great punt that time by Zwetzig. And Garcia is not able to do anything with the return. Mustang football is brought to you by Buildings by Design. The most important thing to buying a new building or starting a new design build project is picking the right company to build it. Call Pat Walter, Travis Lefever, or Jared Samples for your free bid, 970-842-5837. Or visit them online at buildingsbydesign.com. Brush will take the football over. 1142 showing on the timepiece left in this game. Brush with their third possession of the half. They'll turn and hand the ball. Will Tormullen. where the beat diggers will gain only a few yards. It'll be second and seven. Looks like Brush is starting to substitute some of their younger players in. Tormolin does remain in at quarterback. He's got Albo to the near side spread wide. Tarmolin receives the snap, turns, hands the ball off. Tyler Carter will dive to the left side. Brush will be faced with a third down and five. Tormolin again under center. He has Albo wide to the right side. Garcia in tight. He'll turn and hand the ball off towards the left side again. Brush smart running the ball towards their own sideline with their own fans. Keeping the action away from this Fort Morgan fan base here that's trying to find something to cheer for. The student section still standing here to our right. Plenty of people still here as they wait to see how this one finishes out between the two rivals. 
another, Brush. Another fourth down, and Brush is going for it. Call this a fourth and two. Tarmolin again turns, hands the ball to Weiser. Weiser with a lot, head of steam off to the left side. He's got the first down, crossing into Fort Morgan territory. Weiser was out for the first two plays of this drive, and they brought him back in when they needed the tough yardage. I think the plan here for Randy Dreitz is to just run the clock out. First down and 10 for Brush as they crossed over on the last play into Fort Morgan territory. Again, Tormolin under center, elbow wide right. Three in the backfield, including Garcia and Weiser. Tormolin taking his time, watching the field, the back judge. He'll snap the ball, turn, and hand it off. That run by Ismail Hernandez. First time we've called his name tonight for Brush. It's a nice pickup of five yards for the junior. Will be second and five. Same formation again for Brush. Tarmolin's going to wait until he sees the arm go up of the back judge, indicating that there's not five seconds left in the play clock. There he sets his line, turns, and he keeps the ball himself out to the right side here, picks up a block where he's met by four Fort Morgan tacklers, but still enough to pick up the first down. The first play we've seen move towards the right side of their line in quite some time. Nice bootleg for seven yards. Calls his own number. Does Tormolin. And a fresh set of downs for Brush to work with. 8-12 on the clock and counting. Brush leads 33-6. to six. Near hash mark for this spot. Same formation, just flip it this time. Out left to his elbow. Tarmolin turns, hands off. Hernandez again, I believe, on the carry. And more positive yards. We'll call it a pickup of five. Efficient football right here out of brush. It's like that first drive of the half. Let's just eat up the clock and smash it down their throats. And really, it only works if you're able to advance the football on every run play that you've called, and brush has been able to do that. And avoid mistakes. The only problem with that first drive of the half is when they shot themselves in the foot by the penalties. Again, Tormolin hands the ball off. Big hole this time up the middle. Trevor Blake that time. First carry for that, the senior out of brush. Big gain. As he picks up the first down. And will spot the football at the Fort Morgan 18. The timepiece continuing to turn. Tormolin again under center. Albo out wide left. Three men in the backfield, including Weiser and Garcia. Again, Tormolin turns, hands off. Nothing doing that time through the middle of the line. That brings up a second and ten. Brush is rotating in a fresh back on just about every play. Doing a good job of killing the clock and moving the football down the field. Textbook, really. Again, Tormolin under center. Turns, hands the ball off to his running back there. Where he'll be stopped for a minimal gain. Tyler Carter on the carry. 
And I believe we have an injury for Fort Morgan. They did stop the clock, so that means he will have to come off of the field. Seventy-three for Fort Morgan. Not listed on my roster here. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Fort Morgan bench is full. They've got a lot of kids out for football this year. That's a good sign in their rebuilding program. It's a good sign. They have a JV team and a C team, from what I understand, as well. So a third and five play here for Brush. Tormolan again under center. He'll turn and hand the ball to Weiser. Check that. He'll hand the ball to Tyler Carter, who tries his luck on the left side, but will find none of it. A minimal gain, in fact, none at all. That'll bring up a fourth and five. So another fourth down here faced by Brush. The Beat Diggers have yet to punt. They've gone forward on every fourth down and they've been successful on most of them. Back judge waving his hand, indicating there's not much time left in the play clock. Tormolan turns and hands off again. I believe he might be short. We could see ourselves a turnover on downs. Fort Morgan certainly believes so as they trot their offense out onto the field. No indication yet by the referees. Spot the football, and there it is. Fort Morgan does force a turnover on downs. But importantly, 429 remains on the clock. That drive started at 11.42 in the fourth quarter. Another seven-yard drive. Or excuse me, seven-minute drive. That last 12 plays started back on their own 37, and they pushed it deep into Fort Morgan territory. Two drives from Brush that take up 14 minutes of the 24 minutes of the half. No points, but definitely demoralizing and taking away the opportunity of time. You know, even Morgan. without the points there, they sent the message to Fort Morgan. Martin's under center. He'll turn and hand the ball off quickly to Matt Goto. He'll gain eight as he rumbles off the right side of the line. It's important for Fort Morgan to get some positives in this last four minutes of this ball game. Something to build on for next week. Next week, as you mentioned there, Kevin, we'll be at Mountain View. We'll have that game for you here on B106 and B106.com. Martin's again under center. Two players to his right. He'll snap the ball. Hand it off and a first down there for Fort Morgan as they move the chains here. This is only the third possession of the half for Fort Morgan. Just like Brush wanted to establish their running game, maybe Chisholm wants to let his kids know that they can play a little smash mouth too. And we see another whistle here from the officials. Three minutes, 48 seconds, shows on the clock. Brush up 33-6 to six over Fort Morgan. Ball at the 25-yard line. Martins turns, hands off on a counter play. Check that, a trap play just straight up the middle. Gained some positive yards. We'll see if Fort Morgan tries to utilize a hurry-up offense here. Another tough run by Matt Goto. Spot the ball at the 28 of Fort Morgan territory. Over to the far side of the field. Martins takes the snap, drops back to pass. Looking left, looking left. Now throws over the middle, has it tipped. 
by a brush defensive back. I believe Pineda, the intended target that time by Martins, not able to connect. Third and five now as the timepiece stops at 251. Martins gets the play from the sideline. Will jog back into the huddle to the far side of the field. The stands have cleared ever so slightly. Two wide receivers as Martin keeps the ball himself off the right side. That'll bring up a fourth down as he gains about three yards. Fourth and two. Ball spotted at the far hash of the 32-yard line of Fort Morgan. Two wide receivers come spread to the left. Two men behind Martins under the center. He'll keep it himself. Again, he gushes forward, really slicing through the line that time. And that's good for a first down. We'll call it a pickup of five. Just what the Mustangs needed. A little bit of a positive to end with. Move the ball down the field. Be nice to get six. But even with the positive yardage, that's going to help. Spot the ball at the 37. Far hash still. Moving right to left. Martins turns. Hands the ball to Goto with a great second effort there. And he is brought down. Ooh, hard yards there for Goto. Good to see him running hard here with only under two minutes in the fourth quarter. Again, Pineda, Fitzsimmons spread wide left. Goto behind with another man tailing behind him. Martins under center. Martins turns, looks, drops back to pass, looking left. He's going to air it out. He's got Fitzsimmons, and the ball is tipped. What a great individual effort there by... Ishmael Hernandez, I believe, and he's shaken up a little bit after the play. And Brush is going to be forced to take a timeout. It was Ishmael Hernandez, a great play there to break up that pass. Fitzsimmons had a beat on it, but Hernandez gets his paws up in the way. I believe Brush, not an official's timeout. We'll take this opportunity to tell you that Fort Morgan football is brought to you by Morgan Federal Bank, your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs, from checking to savings to IRAs. 321 Ensign Seat, Morgan Street, Morgan Federal Bank. There's a difference. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The referees spot the football. The 41 of Fort Morgan Territory. Martins, again, has a man in motion. That's Fitzsimmons. He'll throw the ball out to him in a screen pass. Fitzsimmons gets out of bounds, close to a first down. The clock stops at 118. We'll see where they spot the football. The official does say that is a first down. Ball spotted at the 47. Just enough for a first down. Martins under center again. Check that in the shotgun. Martins looks to pass. Has a man open downfield, but the throw is short. Fitzsimmons again is targeted receiver. That'll bring up second and ten. Martins again going back to the shotgun, something we haven't seen until the last play. Has four receivers and a man to his left in the backfield. 
Martins will boot out towards the near side of the field, and he'll keep the football himself. He's got some running room, and now he's past the 40. Dips out of a tackle, gets down to about the 31-yard line. That first down stops the clock at a minute and one second. It'll start as soon as they get the football set. Martins, a great play there. He'll pick up the first down, and he'll get into brush territory. A design pass play, but he kept the ball. Again, in the shotgun. Mustangs hurrying, moving to a hurry-up offense. Again, he'll boot, this time to the other side of the field. Throw, has his man, Fitzsimmons is open. Spins away from a tackler and is brought down at about the 15-yard line. Fitzsimmons with a big completion there. And it'll bring up another first down, and we'll see what we have. Timeout called by Brush. Mustangs football brought to you by Northern Colorado Title. For all your title needs, visit Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title at 205 West Kiowa in Fort Morgan. 47 seconds remain here at Legion Field. Brush up 33-6 to over Fort Morgan. The trend that we talked about earlier on in the broadcast was Brush would win a big game at, at home, come back here to Legion Field, and they would lose, but Brush not, not going to follow that trend here tonight. The student section still trying to make a little bit of noise. Most of the Brush cheering section has cleared out on the far side from us. Still a wonderful night out here, temperature-wise. As we get ready to see what Fort Morgan has left in the tank. Martin's in the shotgun, has three men to the left, one to the right. Martins receives the snap, boots out towards the left. Looking, will stiff arm his way, and he's met there. The clock will continue to move. Nope, we'll have a timeout taken by Harrison Chisholm. Well, if there were any questions about Brush is uh, being a contender this year. I think they've been answered. They are going to be a dominant football team. I think they have. They've made a case. Mustangs football is brought to you by Bayou T Quest. Stop by 302 Main Street in Fort Morgan. Letter jackets, T-shirts, banners, and more. They're also your local expert experts customizing your team's sports apparel. The team will break from their huddle after talking uh, things over with head coach Harrison Chisholm. Fort Morgan again will spread the field. Four wide to each side. This time Martins moves under center. With Goto in the backfield. Martins drops back to pass. Has a man wide open in Pineda. Pineda comes down with it. And a touchdown. Pineda wide open from the start. It took Martins a while to recognize that. But the out route goes for six. 30.8 reads on the clock now. Just what the doctor ordered. Morgan needed something positive to end on, and they got it. We'll see Frick up for the PAT. A great job there by Pineda following the route. Martins does a great job of locating him, and they connect. A diving catch there. Frick on for the PAT. It is up, and it is good. Score now 33-13. 30 seconds left. Take this opportunity to let you know that the replay of this game will be on immediately following our broadcast, our live broadcast here at Legion Field. We still have a post-game show to bring to you where we'll recap, tell you about how the game got this way. Mustang football is brought to you by West Tech Rentals as the cannon goes off and tries to throw me off. West Tech Rentals, whether you're a contractor or a homeowner, West Tech Rentals is your source for rental equipment and landscaping materials. You know, I don't want to knock Fort Morgan, but uh, I think if we see some more scoring, they're going to have to be a little bit timelier on that cannon. 
Well, it's interesting to watch the fans because people forget that that cannon's going to go off and they'll be looking the other direction and you can see him jump. I know I've jumped several times <laughs> sitting here in the stands. A little bit of confusion as Fort Morgan lines up on the north 40-yard line for what we expect to see is an onside kick. Certainly Brush has their hands team in and be a good special teams practice. Doesn't really look like Morgan is lined up that way. They look like they're in their regular kickoff. One man deep, that's Garcia for the Beat Diggers. Frick again straight on. He'll check off with the rest of his kickoff team, and he'll send it deep, high end over end. Back, Garcia receives it at the 10, and he will down it there. Moves up about two yards, and he'll down it at the 12, and we'll likely see the victory formation out of Brush. Morgan Football brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan, Northeast Colorado's hometown savings and loan in Fort Morgan and Brush. 27 seconds on the clock, 33-13, to 13, Brush leads over the Mustangs. Like I said, we're likely to see the victory formation here out of Brush. A commanding second half, to say the least, by them. As they were able to move the football effectively on the ground and eat up clock. I think that's exactly what they were set out to do coming out of halftime. Oh, we'll see a run play. Because there's a new quarterback that's checked in for Brush. Kalen Brandt in the game. We'll see if they get another playoff before the clock expires. Eight seconds and counting now. I believe they'll walk it off towards the end of the end of the game, and that is final. Fort Morgan falls at home to Brush, 33 to 13. We'll take a quick break, and then we'll come back, and we'll start with the post-game show. That's brought to you by High Plains Bank in Wiggins. Again, 33-13 to 13 here, your final. We'll take a break and we'll come right back. You're listening to Mustang Football on B106 and B106.com. 